hi everyone so in this session i will explain about user management in linux administration normally we are the administrators so which is having our root user credentials so root user nothing but a administrator user in the linux not only the linux in the unix all four flavors so people are calling as admin user as a root user okay so root user is a super user so he can do anything in the server normally other users also will be exist in our server like uh, java user oracle user web admin user this and all okay so we will see all the things in this session for your convenient i am splitting of this session okay so we'll maintain the sequence of these sessions and we will see so in this session <clears throat> i will explain about the types of the users okay so types of the users so there are three types of users in a linux so first one is a already we know administrator user okay so admin user so known as a root user and some people calling as a super user also so you can call it as a super user all are same and other type is a system user system user so basically these are the users so normally if you install any software the respective user will be created like uh, apache http user nginx nginx user and uh, not only the softwares uh, the system related packages system related softwares also having the their own respective system users like hss hss ssh user ftp user okay and telnet user so there are few other users so these are comes under uh, system users and uh, third one is a uh, normal user so these are the user which can be created by administrator user which is root user so all your normal users are created by root user only so if you want to create a normal user definitely you should have the root privileges fine now the moment you create a user okay so there are couple of things uh, by default uh, your uh, kernel will assign okay so what are the things uh, default user id first thing so the command if you want to create a user the command what we are using create a user command is user add and your username this is the command the moment you execute let me ex give an example let me give an example user add and let me type a sketek so the moment i create a sketek user by default what are the things we will it will get we will discuss i am just simply giving the sketek only okay so here by default the command is user add it will go and create this user id okay this user so it will assign couple of things like user id and group id okay so g id group id then home directory home directory then shell also it will define some default shell okay and then comments also comments also will be there but by default it's a null only okay so null comment we will see what are these and all so here user id is this is the unique id each and every user having their own unique ids so here we will discuss about ids also the moment you create a user the system will assign some user ids okay so the what kind of user ids what is the value it will assign those and all we will discuss now and also how we will segregate this admin user system user with normal users means so based on their ids only okay so normally your root user having a id 0 okay we will see 0 id 
even in interviews also sometimes uh, they will ask uh, what is the user id of the root user it's a zero okay so it's a zero now system users so what are the ids for the system users means it's a one to triple nine in between all these all are system user ids right and uh, what about normal user so this is also very important interview question what is the normal user ids from where it will start so it will start from thousand guys okay so normal user if you create a normal user the first time it will assign thousand if you create a second normal user thousand one third thousand three likewise it will maintain the sequence of course sometimes requesters they will raise a request like uh, hi linux team we want to set this user id like 5000 or 4000 or 5005 we can change it so the moment you create a user by default this is the things it will assign but the custom values also we can able to change so custom values also can set for the users those under we will discuss later so in this session only types of the users and their ids and these are the default things okay in the next session we will see uh, what are these default ids i mean uh, what are this home directory what is the shell the values under we will see in the next session so let me recap it this session guys so in the user management there are three types of users admin user system user and normal user and their respective ids okay and the moment this is the command to create a user very simple command user and and username so the moment you execute this command it will create the user called sketech then it will assign uh, some default uh, things like user id gid it means group id and home directory okay and shell and uh, some comments also it will assign uh, so by default it will be null only later we can change it and here home directory it's nothing but a in the windows terminology like a, a desktop guys so home directory nothing but a your desktop the moment user logged in into the server he will be prompting to his desktop only in the windows also same right the moment you provide your username and password you will be prompting to desktop right in the same way linux also we will be prompting into the our home directories okay so by default <coughs> it will get the slash home guys slash home okay and uh, the ids uh, so ids uh, it will start like a thousand i told right normal users are starting from thousand and uh, the moment you create a user by default it will create a group also the same id it will take guys so there is a group management dedicated session i will explain more about groups in that session okay so here home directory slash home slash it will create a directory with your name okay with your username sketech and by default shell so this is also interview question what is the default shell in the linux so by default bin bash will be assigning on your user okay all user that commands whatever the users are going to execute all commands are executing in this shell only okay so these are the values guys so that's it for this session so we will be continuing in the next session thank you guys